You can now create your own custom HTML tags and make reusable web components with custom elements v1. It's easier to send messages between open windows or tabs on the same origin with the broadcast channel API. Media experiences get better on Android and Foreign Fetch is now available as an origin trial. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 54. Complex user interfaces often require a large amount of HTML. Most languages allow developers to create their own components built on top of language primitives to mitigate some of this verbosity. But until now, creating reusable components on the web has been difficult. Custom elements allow you to create your own custom HTML tags and define the new elements API and behavior in JavaScript. The result? a browser-native way to build reusable, interoperable web components. Chrome 54 provides support for the latest Custom Elements v1 spec and will continue to support the v0 spec until enough of you have moved to v1. Check out our primer on Custom Elements to see how you can use it to create reusable web components for your site or application. It's not uncommon for desktop users to have multiple windows or tabs open simultaneously. And some sites even encourage this behavior, such as web editors that open documents in their own tab. Communicating between these tabs can be difficult. The broadcast channel is a new one-to-many messaging API between windows, tabs, iframes, web workers, and service workers. It allows scripts to create established name channels to send messages between browsing contexts of the same origin. Media is an increasingly important part of the browsing experience. In addition to a user gesture, you can now use element.requestFullScreen to trigger full screen mode after a screen orientation change. And it allows you to create richer media experiences that include rotate to full screen. Imagine if a commonly used origin, like an API provider, web font service, or other service had its ability to deploy its own service worker. Instead of always going to the network, the provider could implement their own custom networking logic and take advantage of a single authoritative cache instance for storing its responses. Now, thanks to Foreign Fetch, which is available in Chrome 54 as an origin trial, it's a reality. Check out Jeffrey's post linked in the description below. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 54 for developers. Check the description for more details and links to documentation and specifications. And don't forget to check out the Chrome Dev Summit. We'll be streaming it on YouTube on November 11th and 10th. If you want to stay up to date with Chrome and know what's coming, click that subscribe button up there or somewhere. Anyways, I'm Pete LePage. And as soon as Chrome 55 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.